You're missing all the fabulous snow on Mission Peak. It's just oh, absolutely yeah, I, gorgeous. I heard. I yeah, heard yeah. So let's get the uh, tough questions out of the way um, uh, and then head on to the uh, India caucus. Um, are you planning a run for Senate and when will you announce and what will inform that decision? Well, I, uh, I said I'll make a decision by the first week of April. I have a lot of respect for Barbara Lee who are getting in the race, obviously something that uh, I will consider. I, uh, but I'm looking at the race, talking to, to, to people and we'll make a decision by early April. Yeah, if you do run, you just brought up Barbara Lee, who is one of the most progressive members of uh, Congress. How do you feel as a fellow progressive running against uh, someone like uh, Congresswoman Lee? Well, that's why I said that I will weigh heavily in my consideration. I just want to make sure that uh, uh, she has a strong campaign and uh, we'll be able to have the, the resources and campaign structure to, to, to win. Uh, and if I feel uh, by the end of this month that she's put that together, that'll weigh heavily on what I decide. Yeah, absolutely. So uh, what informed your decision to run, uh, to consider a run? Well, I, I've had a lot of people, especially the Bernie Sanders base around the state, uh, approach me and say that I've got uh, good policies on Medicare for all, on free public college, on technology jobs and creating those jobs. Uh, so uh, just interest from, from people more than uh, uh, anything else. Fantastic. You mentioned Bernie Sanders. Um, there's been a lot of uh, discussion amongst Democrats about Biden running for a second term. You supported uh, and campaigned for uh, uh, Senator Sanders um, in 2020. Would you encourage him to run in uh, 2024? Well, I support uh, President Biden. He's the incumbent president. He's had a successful term. If he doesn't run, I said I'd be very enthusiastic for Bernie Sanders and would back him, but I expect the president to run. Okay. If the president does run, you would not support uh, a Sanders uh, uh, run? No, and I, I, and I don't think Sanders would run against the, the sitting president. Absolutely. Um, so moving on to um, the House India Caucus, congratulations, first of all, on uh, being named uh, co-chair of the caucus. Um, uh, were you actively pursuing that role? And why were you pursuing that role? I was actively pursuing it. I'm very passionate about the U.S.-India relationship. I thought we could inspire and mobilize the diaspora uh, to support uh, uh, a closer relationship. And that's something I will do as chair of the caucus. And I wanted to work to strengthen the military relationship, strengthen the economic relationship, strengthen the relationship of our educational institutions, of our work on climate. And it's just a place I feel like I can make a difference. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Um, are you still uh, involved with the Pakistani American Congressional Caucus? I know you came under some flag for that. Well, I, uh, I suppose it's technically still uh, a member of these caucuses just invite you when there is someone who's visiting. And if there were a head of state, uh, I, I'm sure I would uh, uh, show up, as a lot of people are members of multiple caucuses. Uh, but sure. I think people know that uh, I care about uh, strengthening the U.S.-India relationship and also peace in the region. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Um, what do you hope to, to bring to this role? What are some some concrete pieces that you hope to bring to this role? Because as you know, at, at this point, the um, India House India Caucus, is, uh, uh, its achievements have largely been around uh, getting the Diwali stamp and getting uh -huh. members of Congress to uh, recognize uh, Diwali. So how do you um, hope to work beyond beyond that, if at all? Well, I want to increase the membership of the caucus, which is important when we have votes. You know, I had a vote last year on my amendment to waive CATSA sanctions from India that passed with 300 some members of Congress. The stronger the India caucus is, the more uh, that can uh, make a difference on votes concerning India. I want to have a summit where I involve the Indian American diaspora. They haven't been as involved on strengthening the uh, economic relationship, the cultural relationship, the uh, technology relationship. Uh, and I want to try to uh, work on this vexing issue of uh, moving uh, India away from the Soviet Union and towards the United States on defense. It's a tough issue because the Soviets have cheaper weapons. Uh, the Soviets also allow India to manufacture it domestically. Uh, we have export controls, understandably. Our weapons cost more, but are more effective. 
Uh, it, so I want to work with the administration to make progress on that issue. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Um, I uh, I think you also you also serve on the uh, new uh, China caucus yeah. as well. What what do you expect your role will be there? And um, given you know the current developments, how do you think our relationship to China needs to change? I believe uh, the uh, I just led a, a delegation to Taiwan. We need to make sure that we're defending, uh, we're increasing the defense capability of Taiwan. We need to make sure we're increasing the economic relationship. But at the same time, we need to affirm the one China policy, which is a status quo uh, not to be disrupted uh, by non-peaceful means. Uh, and uh, that's what I'll be advocating for from the China Select Committee. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. To go back to the um, House India Caucus, have you met? You have been critical of the uh, Modi administration on several uh, key issues. One is your non-support for the Citizenship Amendment Act and also um, the handling of uh, Jammu and Kashmir. Um, ha have you um, met with Prime Minister Modi and um, are you are you still critical of both of those uh, uh pieces of uh, uh, legislation, for lack of a better word. Well, I have, uh, of course, been supportive of generally the U.S.-India relationship and as evidenced by my amendment last year that uh, said India shouldn't be subject to CATSA sanctions and passed to, in a, a 300 plus vote. But I have spoken out for pluralism and criticized any move that would uh, grant citizenship faster based on uh, a particular faith. I think that's uh, opposed to the ideals of uh, of Gandhi and Nehru. Now, what I've said on uh, Kashmir is that's an internal matter for India, and uh, I, I haven't taken a position in opposition to uh, the Rule 370. I've said that's an Indian matter, in, internal matter for uh, Indian democracy, but that they should keep the internet open and make sure that it's consistent with what the, our State Department has called for. I, I mean, if I lead a delegation to India, of course, I'll uh, be honored to meet with the Indian prime minister and all of the, the leaders, as I, I would go into any country. If I went to China, I might meet with uh, Xi Jinping if he were to, to, to meet. Uh, so, uh, but I would be candid in places where uh, uh, I disagree. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Has uh, Prime Minister Modi or any of his administration reached out to you on your new role? And attempt sure, to not start the Prime a Minister relationship. Directly, not the Prime Minister directly, but the Ambassador has, and he conveyed that uh, uh, the Prime Minister and his ministers are aware and they're proud that an Indian American is uh, leading this caucus. That's fantastic. You are the first, uh, you are the second uh, Indian American to lead the caucus, correct? Correct. Ami Bera led it in uh, 2015, and I'm uh, the first one to, to, to lead it since then, and uh, leading it now at a time, though, where the U.S.-India relationship is really a, a priority. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Um, do you have anything that you want to add to the conversation? I would just say that the strategic relationship with India is arguably one of the most important of the 21st century uh, to make sure that the United States has a strong presence in Asia, to make sure that we're supporting democracy, to make sure that uh, uh, there's peace uh, in, in that uh, region. Uh, so I, I really feel lucky to be in this role. Thank you. Uh, thank you uh, for taking the time uh, and uh, hope to see you soon again. Oh, great. Thank you. Take care. Bye-bye. Thank you, Nina.